Good morning, boys and girls. It is Monday, and we are ready to do math. Now, I've just been having you do your worksheets for math, but we're gonna start doing videos every day for math too, so we don't get too far behind. If you are a first grader, you already have your worksheets that have your clock on it, and I hope you had a chance to make it. If you are a second grader, you will be getting your packet today that has your clocks in it. But I wanted to practice making a clock ourselves so that you would know where the numbers on a clock go. So today we're going to make our own clock and you're going to need to get a piece of white paper and a crayon or pencil and a bowl or a plate, something that's round that you can trace a circle with. So you can pause my video for just a minute while you get those things ready. I'll wait for you to get back. Okay, are you back? All right, so the first thing I want you to do is lay your plate or bowl down on your piece of paper and trace around it to make a perfect circle, okay? And the clock that we're going to make, the one that looks like this one, is called an analog clock, all right? So an analog clock is the one that has the numbers on it and it has a minute hand and an hour hand. After you've made that round circle, I want you to cut a little skinny strip off of the bottom of your paper. And we're gonna use that to make our minute hand and our hour hand, okay? So go ahead and cut a piece off of your paper. And we're gonna cut it into two pieces, but remember that our minute hand is long and our hour hand is short. Okay, so we have two pieces of paper. We want one of them to be shorter. Okay, we want our hour hand to be shorter and our minute hand to be longer. Can you see that? And then I'm just gonna cut the tips off to make a little pointed arrow. Like that. And then for my hour hand. And if you need to pause my video at any time to go get crayons or um, scissors, just pause it and then come back. I am going to color my hour hand blue. So I've gotten a blue crayon ready. And my hour hand is my short one and I'm gonna color it blue just so I can tell the difference. And then I'm going to color my minute hand red. So I got a red crayon. You can use whatever colors you want. And I'm gonna color my minute hand red. Okay. Now, if you have a little brad, one of those little things that we use to make our spinners, you can use that. Otherwise, you can just get a piece of tape like this and put it on your, hand, on your hour hand and minute hand and you can go ahead and just put them on your clock so that you can move them around. Okay, but what's our clock missing? It's missing our numbers, right? So we're just gonna put our minute hand and hour hand to the side right now, and we're gonna add our numbers. So right in the middle of your clock, make your little dot, okay? And do you remember what number goes up at the top of the clock? Do you remember which one goes up there? And number 12. Okay, so we're gonna put our number 12 up at the top. And then down at the bottom, we have our six. And over on this side, we have our three. And on this side, we have our nine. All right, so what numbers go between 12 and three? We remember that a clock only goes to 12 o'clock. It doesn't go to 13 o'clock. So after 12, we start over at 
one, right? So we're gonna fill in our empty numbers now. We're gonna put our one and our two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And those are the hours. Those are the hours. That tells us what hour it is. Now in between all of those numbers, there are some little lines that tell us how many minutes it is. You see all those little lines? Let's see how many lines are between each number. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so there's four lines, and then the fifth one lands on the one. Okay, so can you make your little lines? One, two, three, four, five. 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 If you need to pause the video for a minute and get your little lines drawn in there, you can. Those little lines represent the minutes. And there are five minutes in between each number. Okay? So we have our clock filled in. And we have our hour hand and our minute handmade. So what time should we have it be right now? Could you use your hour hand and minute hand and make it say three o'clock? Okay, so our minute hand would be going straight up and down on the 12, because that says o'clock. And our hour hand would be pointing at the three. Three o'clock. Right? Okay, how about if we made it say four o'clock? Okay, so our hour hand again, or our minute hand would be pointing at the, the 12, the zero, zero. Our hour hand would be pointing to the four. All right? Good job. Okay, I'm gonna make some times, and I wanna see if you can tell me what time the clock says. Now, <clears throat> if you remember when we are counting the minutes, how much is it from here to here? Five minutes? 10 minutes? 15 minutes, remember those little pencils that we have on our clock that show the minutes? 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, good job. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. You're right, this would be 60, but 60 minutes is an hour. So we're just gonna put that as o'clock, zero, zero, o'clock. Okay, I'm going to show a time. Okay. 
Okay, so my hour hand is halfway between the four and the five. It's past the four, it's on its way to the five, and the minute hand is pointing at the 30 minutes. Can you tell me what time that says? 4.30, very good. Okay, um, let's do this one. What do you think that one is? We look at the hour hand first. It's pointing right at the eight. And the minute hand is pointing straight up at the zero, zero. It is eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. Um, now, for first graders, you just need to know o'clock and 30. But let's try one for the second graders. And first graders, if you want to try this, you can too. We're going to put the minute hand going across right here, pointing to the 15. And we're gonna put the hour hand halfway between the nine and the 10. So it's past nine because our time always goes this way. So it's past the nine, it's on its way to the 10. How many minutes past the nine is it? Good, 15. So that would mean it is 9.15 or 15 minutes past nine. Let's try one more. Okay, if the minute hand is pointing straight down, that means it's 30 minutes past. Let's see, we're going this way. So our hour hand has passed the two. It's on its way to the three. It, that means it's 2.30. 2.30, good job. All right, well, I'm glad that you were able to make your own clock today and um, Second graders, if you are able to pick up your packets today, you will have your clocks in there that you can start working on. And first graders, you should be finishing up with your clockwork and hopefully you have been practicing telling time with your parents and we'll be ready to move on um, to two different lessons. Second graders will get a lesson and first graders will get a lesson. But today we just did it all together. We'll see you tomorrow, bye.